Welcome to Daily Devotions. Acts 19.5 says, And on hearing this, they were baptized, all of them, in the name of Jesus. When I was first a pastor in 1995, I had this terror of baptizing children. Not that I was afraid of baptism itself, the theology of baptism I was okay with. It was actually holding a baby in one arm while I would baptize it with the other hand. I was afraid of dropping the baby in the water, or worse, on the floor. Up to that point, I had no experience at all in baptizing or even holding a child. A year later, in fact, just a couple weeks before my first anniversary as a pastor, it was time to baptize my first son. I was a little bit more ready to hold a child. I had a couple weeks of experience in this with holding him but I was still afraid to hold him. It's all those silk and taffeta and the gowns the pastor wears. It made it very slippery. So I made my wife hold the baby while I baptized him. Today, I have a lot more experience in holding babies. I have no problem at all holding a child when I baptize them. But now I like to share the joy of holding a child that's being baptized with a mother or father or with sponsors, whoever's holding the baby when they come up to the baptismal font. See, it doesn't matter who's holding the child. It actually doesn't even matter who's baptizing the child. What happens in baptism is that God, through water and his word of promise, Matthew 28, 19, that child becomes his child. Nothing the child does, nothing the one who is pouring the water on the, the baby does anything. It's God alone who does all the good work in baptism. And what is that work? It is the giving of forgiveness of sins, the rescuing from death and the devil, and the granting of eternal salvation. We're thankful that God does all this through the great gift of holy baptism. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of baptism, for rescuing, rescuing us from the devil and death, for giving us the forgiveness of sins and granting us eternal salvation. Help all of us who are baptized to stay in our baptismal grace and confess the holy name of Jesus, in whose name we pray, amen. I'm Ed Blonsky from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School in Hawthorne Woods. Thanks for joining me for the daily devotions. Join me again next time. If you'd like to, in the meantime, find out more about our Lutheran Day School ministry or anything else that St. Matthew does, join us at our website, www.stmatts.net, or give us a call at 847-438-7709. Join us again next time. God's richest blessings to you.